Hello Rackstars, I'm Diego and in this tutorial I will show you how to visualize your Sensor Hub data in Datacake using Whisky Edge and TTN. To do so, make sure you have a Rack Gateway connected to TTN. We have shown you this process many times before, so you are now a pro. But if you need refreshing, check the description. Assuming you have your Gateway connected to TTN, go to your TTN profile and we can start. Click the Overview tab and then click Go to My Applications. Type in your application ID and application name of choice. For this case, the application ID is RAC2560 and the application name is Sensor Hub. Then click on the Create Application button. The application is created and you need to add the device. Click on Register End Device. To add the sensor hub, under input method, choose enter end device specifics manually. Now, there are a lot of fields that need information that we don't have. Where to find it? It's time to leave TTN for a bit and open the WIS Toolbox app. You need to connect to the end device to make the configurations and join it to the TTN application. On the WIS Toolbox app, click on the select device button and select allow to enable Bluetooth connection. It will show you different devices. Select the sensor hub. Don't forget to enable the NFC on your mobile phone. Scan your sensor hub. First, click Connect. Then the WIS Toolbox app will ask you to place the phone on the end symbol on the device. This way the NFC will activate the BLE connection between the hub and your phone. After a bit of syncing, you will see a screen with the device's information. Now that you have the information, return to TTN to continue with adding the device to the application. First, choose the frequency plan of your sensor hub and LoRaWAN specification 1.0.3. Note that the frequency plan must also correspond with the region you operate in. You will need it later, so write it down. Type App EUI in the Join EUI field and click Confirm. Then type the Dev EUI and App Key. They can be found in the WIS Toolbox app, in the Sensor Hub Info tab and the LoRa One Keys, ID, EUI section of the LoRa and LoRa One Parameters tab. Click Register End Device. The device is registered. Let's finish the configuration as well before continuing with the fun stuff. Return your attention to the WIS Toolbox app. Swipe left and click on Sensor Probe. Since we have Weather Station connected and it is automatically recognized, you will see a section for each sensor and device detail. You can set up the sensor intervals, threshold and toggle it if you want an uplink sent for each action by clicking on any of the sensors. Make the desired changes or leave it with the default ones. If you make changes, don't forget to click Apply. Swipe right to the LoRa and LoRa 1 parameters. In the global settings, set the active region to the one you chose in TTN earlier, EU868. For this example, the join mode will stay OTAA. Go down to the data on LoRa network field and click join network. WIS toolbox will say message sent. And you can see the join in TTN. The device is ready. It is time to think about integrations or visualization of the data. In the TTN console, go to Integrations and choose Webhooks. Click on Add Webhook and select Datacake. Type an ID for the webhook. In this case, the ID is Sensor Hub. Now, you need the token from your Datacake account. If you do not have an account, you can create one by following the link in the description. Go to the Datacake dashboard, then select Members from the menu to the left. Then, go to API Users. Click on Show and copy the token. Paste the copied Datacake token in TTN 
and click Create Data Cake Webhook. The Data Cake Webhook has been successfully added to the list. Click on the Overview tab and copy the End Device EUI. Go back to Data Cake and click on the Devices tab. Then, click on the Add Device button. On the pop-up menu, choose LoRa 1 and click Next. Select the new product option and type a product name. In this case, the name will be Sensor Hub. Click Next. Choose the Things Stack V3 and click Next. Paste the device EUI into the Dev EUI field and type a name. In this case, Sensor Hub. Click Next. You may select a free or paid plan. Note that the free plan only has 7 days of data retention. Finally, click on Add One Device. The device will appear on the device dashboard. Click on it. From the dashboard of the device, go to the Configuration tab and scroll down until you see the Payload Decoder field. Copy the JavaScript decoder from the file you can see in our Documentation Center. The link is below. Paste the code in the decoder field. Click Save to save the decoder. Then, click on Add Field. Since we have the weather station connected to the hub, here we will add 5 fields that will be used to visualize the data. The fields are Speed, Direction, Temperature, Pressure, and Humidity. It is time to configure the dashboard that will visualize the data. Go to the Dashboard tab and toggle the Edit Mode switch. Click on Add Widget and select Value. Under the Basics tab, type in a name for the widget. In this case, we will use Wind Speed. In the Data tab from the Field drop-down menu, select Speed. And in the Gauge tab, select the circular type of gauge. Optionally, you can personalize the values. For the zero values, select the gray color. For the 100 value, select the red. Click Save to add the widget. Let's create another one. Click again to add widget and choose value. Give the name Wind Direction. Go to the Data tab and select Direction. Then go to the Appearance tab and select an icon of your choice. Click Save. You can create the other widgets as you like, following the same steps. It's time to organize this puzzle. You can drag and drop each of the widgets of your liking, just like the icons on your desktop. Once you are happy with the result, Toggle the Edit Mode switch to save your grid view. It's quite a long process, but you'll surely be satisfied once you see the results. Via the Whiskey Edge Gateway, your sensor hub is now connected to TTN. Your data is now visualized in DataCake, and you can start expanding your network of sensors and visualize the data the same way.
Your personalized grid makes it easier to see your data in DataCake and make decisions based upon it. We hope that you enjoyed this fun tutorial. If you want more of this, comment down below and stay